Now, a new cancer treatment that uses ultrasound and bubbles is set to go on trial later this year. The National Cancer Centre at the National University Cancer Institute in Singapore will start with a first group of 40 patients for the novel treatment known as histotripsy. For more, I have one of the inventors here with us. Professor Chen Xu is from the Biomedical Engineering Faculty at the University of Michigan in the U.S. Welcome, Professor. Now, first of all, I have to ask you to try to explain what histotripsy technology is and how it works. Yeah, so my colleagues and I co-invented histotripsy in 2002 mm. at the University of Michigan. When it comes to histotripsy, only you need to remember two words, yeah. bubbles and kill cancer. <laughs> so ultrasound applied from outside the body actually focus to the tumor generate bubbles. And the bubbles mechanically destroy the tumor into liquefied debris and absorb by the body. Then you remove tumor that way. No incision, no pain. That, that sounds quite miraculous. So I want to ask you, uh, spell for us, what are the advantages of such a treatment that you have described compared to what's currently out there on the market when it comes to cancer treatment? Yeah, so histotripsy right now has been approved by the FDA mm. for non-invasive treatment of liver tumors. And compared to other existing uh, treatments, things like surgery or radiation, it's no pain, no incision, non-invasive. Patients really, they uh, return home immediately after procedure. Right. Have dinner at home, return to normal activity the second day. And we had uh, cancer patients, uh, uh, like young mother with kids, and uh, you know, go through That's chemotherapy right. rounds and rounds, mm. and losing hair, appetite, and uh, you know, losing mm. even like teeth uh, uh, is loosening, mm. and that, l starting to lose hope of ever being able to see her kids growing up. And then she had histotripsy treatment. She said, you know, this is no pain. My yeah. tumor is gone. Now it's giving me hope that I can see my kids actually growing up. Uh, and my actually encourage people to go for earlier, you know, diagnosis. Absolutely. In Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, um, I, I have to say that he, he ask you if hitotripsy is expensive because it has all these wonderful advantages, but what about the cost? And how does it work with these uh, expensive cancer treatments? Do they still need it or is that completely, uh, they don't need it anymore? Yeah, so cost is certainly a very mm. important issue, but it's very complicated and vary from country to country. Yeah. Um, but I think what's really important here is you're looking at non-invasive treatment with very fast recovery. Mm. So the long-term cost, right, hospitalization is reduced and the recovery cost is reduced. So we're really looking at substantially reducing the long-term health cost uh, on that regard. Mm. And in terms of whether you need other treatment, it's really depending on the stage of the tumor, right? Like uh, what the patient really needs. So yeah. it's really up to the clinician to make that decision. But we are providing an uh, option, right? Yeah. A treatment option for the clinician and for the patient with, uh, you know, a lot of benefits. Right. So they still have that choice, I, I yeah, imagine. Yeah, absolutely. They have a choice. Yeah. So, you know, a clinical trial will start in Singapore uh, <laughs> later in the year. How, what were the conditions that made this possible? Yeah, so the clinical trial here, I'm really excited about mm. this. It's really made impossible by the generous donation by the Lee Kashin Foundation and the Chemosec Trust. Uh, and uh, also the collaboration and partnership between the National Cancer Center of Singapore, as you mentioned, the National mm. University Cancer Institute of Singapore, and the Hisosonics, uh, that the company that I co helped co-founded and producing Hisochipsy system, and also University of Michigan, yeah. where I involved. So really, it's a partnership together to make this possible. Oh, why is that so important? Because it's a brand new technology right. uh, that in, you know, not only there is the you know, equipment, there's a know-how, there's a research that needs to be done, and also the resources needed to get it started. Yeah. So it's really a public-private and a, a philanthropic partnership that's uh, really making it possible here. And then you've had the hindsight, uh, the, the benefit of experience of other clinical trials in mm -hmm. other parts of the world mm -hmm. as well. Tell me a bit about those and how can we expect the widespread use of this treatment? How fast can we expect that?
So there, in addition to the FDA approval of the liver tumor treatment in the United States, mm. there's also ongoing trial in Europe and in the United States on treatment of renal tumors and the pancreatic tumors. Yeah. So far, what we have seen is that the success rate is really high mm. and also the side effect is very minimal. So the safety is really high. And we even see histotripsy stimulate immune response such that treatment of one tumor can in selected patients results in reduction of other non-target tumors. So, so uh, a lot of things we are learning, and uh, you know, we hope this can help the patients. Well, wish you all the best in that, and uh, hope this turns out to be successful for cancer in general. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, I've been speaking there, Professor Chen Xu, co-inventor of new cancer treatment called histotripsy.